I've always been sort of obsessed with just changing my workspace up and making it as good as possible. And I just want it to be cool, I want it to be nice, I want to enjoy working there, I want to be comfortable. It's not always easy, especially when I'm trying to incorporate a lot of different workflows where sometimes I need space on my desk to just draw on the iPad. Other times I need just a lot of screen real estate so I can be editing videos. And then there's the times when I'm live streaming, like I do every Friday here on this channel, where I need to have room for my iPad, but I also need to be able to see comments coming up. I just need to control things. I got a lot going on. I also need to have a, a chair that doesn't squeak. This chair is a Herman Miller Aeron chair, and it is an incredibly comfortable chair and one that I just hunted down because I had to have one. But I've had it for like uh, 155 years. When I first got out of art school and I got a job at a studio and they had Herman Miller Aeron chairs just like this one. And after you've sitting, sitting, after you've sat in a chair like this and just experienced pure ergonomic bliss, it is very difficult to go back to just a regular old chair. Even if you like go to Staples, Staples even a store, and just ball out and buy like the best chair they have there, it's gonna feel like uh, sitting on a rock turd butt machine after sitting in one of these chairs. It's not ideal, but it's getting old. It's creaky, it's beat, and I've been a little stressed out about it because they're very expensive. I bought this one used. I knew they're almost $2,000. It's hard to justify that amount of money on a chair. So while I've been stressing out about this creaky chair and how I was ever gonna replace it, FlexiSpot reached out to me, and you may know that I have their FlexiSpot sit-stand desk that I did a review of that I've just been loving for a while now. And I thought, hey, maybe this is something that could replace the Herman Miller Aeron chair. I was a little skeptical though, because this is, you know, it's a Herman Miller chair. How will that chair compare to this one? And I think they do have the benefit of the fact that it's a brand new chair and this one is old as hell. I don't know, I'm not gonna pretend that this is gonna be a big mystery. I've been sitting in the chair for uh, about a week now and it's great, I love it. I just brought the Herman Miller chair back into the room so that I could introduce the new chair. So let's talk about the chair first and then I will talk about the rest of the workspace and how it all flows and fits together into a harmonious system. This is the FlexiSpot C7 ergonomic chair and this is, this is a good situation. I'm very happy with this chair. It's got a good spinability can spin without any issues. We got this lumbar support. The Herman Miller chair had lumbar support, but it was just like a rubber thing that you wedged in there. These armrests are adjustable. They're the one thing that I'm not 100% in love with just because they're a little, little rickety, a little soft and noisy, but you can move them all around, which is cool. You can like raise them up, put them down low. This helpful which it suits like different drawing positions pretty well. I like that. And I also like that it's mesh, just like the Herman Miller chair. A lot of other chairs that I've experienced don't have mesh at the bottom. And I like that, I like that airflow. I like to, I don't know, I don't want to get stuffy down there. I can reach down here and lower it or raise it up. One other thing that I just mentioned before I talk about the other stuff that I absolutely love is as a taller person, I want a little bit more room. So we got this lever here where I can slide from the base all the way out. And then the seat cushion goes right to the back of my knees and it's just fully supported and just, just delightful. All right, let's uh, talk about the rest of my workflow situation. I know it looks a little bit nerdy, like I'm commanding some sort of spaceship or some high-tech security system, but there's a purpose for all of this and not just because I'm a nerd. I have this big LG 4K beautiful display. That's like my main thing that I use for working. And then I recently added this cheaper uh, 24 inch LG display that's a little bit lower resolution. I did this just as like a supplemental thing for like when I'm editing video, there's lots of different menus. And it's also really good for when I'm doing my live streams. Having it vertical like this, I can see all the comments so that I I'm better about not missing them. And then just my MacBook over here, which 
I'll put some other stuff on. Instead of leaving this one shut, I like to keep it open for some extra space, but also because I can use the uh, Touch ID on there if I don't want to type in my password or something like that. I also recently added the Stream Deck for streaming, which is super helpful when I'm like switching between talking and my iPad screen and stuff like that. And then I've got this Elgato Wave 3 mic that I really love, which makes audio so much better. And I'm not using it for this video because I'm filming from the other side of my desk. This one, you don't have to do anything to, it's great. Um, I love this, got it on this arm. You can move it over here, out of the way. I typically have a big softbox light mounted up on, there's an arm coming off the wall. You can sort of see that little silver bit. So that's usually mounted up there. Um, so I can just turn it on and when I'm talking, it just lights me up and I turn it back off and it's out of the way. And then I have another light over here shining this way. And those two things just sort of give some good lighting. I have these monitors on arms so that I can quickly move them out of the way so I can get more space on my desk for drawing and also when I'm live streaming because I usually have my camera mounted back here on an arm. So let me show you that. This is just a cheap arm system that I got on Amazon. I will link to that and all the other stuff below. So I can just move this over here, push this back. And then I've got this arm here, same setup. And then I just have this like camera mount thing. I'll just do a global link that has all this stuff in there if you're interested. My camera mounts onto here with this quick release thing. And then I also have this other arm to film my overhead shots. Um, and this is just the same sort of thing with a, just an adjustable tripod mount thing. And then this is a Sony ZV-1. And that's the one I just leave here for filming overhead drawing shots. And having the softbox over here and this light over here that has a softbox allows me to not get glare from if I were to be lighting overhead. Having this on an arm is nice because I can just push it back out of the way. I have it mounted to shelves as opposed to my desk because I found that when I mounted my camera situation to my desk, when I leaned on it, it would shift and shake a little bit and that's not good, nobody wants that. It also makes it more flexible when I want to raise and lower my desk. So when I'm drawing, I'll typically push these things back like this so I have more screen real estate. And then I've got my iPad here and then I just keep this AstroPad stand thing under that. And this is set up and I've got lots of room to draw. So when I'm drawing, I like my desk up a little bit higher. So because this is a sit stand desk, I can just raise this up. But now I'm more comfortable, more ergonomic. I can like easily raise these things up so I have some elbow support. This is really important for me because I've been dealing with a lot of chronic pain from overuse drawing all the time. Just uh, my elbow, my shoulder, uh, it's not great. So being as ergonomic as possible is very good. I have a vertical handshake mouse. It really takes a lot of pressure off of my uh, forearm. Anything to help ease the pain and suffering is a good thing. If you saw my last set of video, I had a mechanical keyboard. Got this new fancy keyboard. That just looks cool. It's like a mechanical keyboard. I switched to this LG one. I couldn't stand how noisy the other one was. It wasn't really great to type on either. This one is great. It's wireless. Wonderful. I also have a CalDigit Thunderbolt 4 hub that I connect all of the stuff to, like the cameras and the different displays, different hard drives, because when you're editing 4K video, you go through hard drive space quickly. So that allows me to do all that quickly. Just got some cool stuff up on the shelves behind me to keep me inspired, have some cool stuff to look at. So this is my new C7. This is my new work setup. There's a promo code I'm about to pop on the screen that will get you $30 off this chair. So if you're interested in doing that, I highly recommend it. As a larger person, I'm six foot two, about 200 pounds, depending on which holiday we just went through. And this chair fits me great, but it could be adjusted to fit smaller people too, because every part of it is adjustable. So thank you, FlexiSpot. I'm psyched about my new chair. I will miss the Herman Miller chair that's been with me through the entirety of my freelance illustration career. This has been a good talk. Oh boy, look at this. Hold on, let me get this.
Yeah, I mean, we could we could do some nappage here. They actually make uh, accessories for this thing so that you can get a leg extension thing. There's some pretty enticing images of people taking sweet naps in their FlexiSpot C7. And that's something I think I might want to get down with, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. We could do a spin check. You want me to do a spin check? I'll do a spin check. So as you can see, the Herman Miller chair can spin with the best of them. It can, can spin all day. It can spin all day. Some good lineage here. The bouncy spin. So this is a, this is a good quality chair. Um, 